Hi Aries, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. So let's see what comes, ooh, actually, yeah. Let's see what comes out with you guys. Yeah, okay. So Aries, this is of course for Aries sun, moon, or rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with an Aries and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general readings, and if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. I appreciate it so much. Okay, Aries. Well, you've got the Fool card. Okay, so there's a new beginning starting up for you, and I feel as though... Come on. Um, you're very conflicted about it in your mind you know you're i feel like you've got some old trauma that's repeating you're it's like whenever you're faced with a new beginning or you have to take a leap into something sometimes you question yourself and it's where you fall into your own trauma habits and then here's divine wisdom so as i i love these cards so you could be um, you're having to go more to your divinity and pull within to to pull through the clarity because it's I keep kind of hearing it's it's like getting to that point of taking a leap and where I feel like the confliction is coming in is because like your mind you have this chemical makeup right I always talk about that and so if you've been through trauma lower vibrational brain chemicals thoughts and those patterns are stored in your cells that's why when it comes to new beginnings or taking a leap into something you'll question yourself it's just because those patterns are coming up within you and that's why you feel conflicted because i feel like aries you're wanting to take this leap you're wanting to go into this thing do this new thing but you're like really nervous to do it but that's why i love this lineup because the full card that's all about taking a leap into the unknown and trusting that the universe is gonna catch you if something happens. I'm gonna tell you guys seriously, I know every, like some people get pissed when I talk about travel, but freaking people wanna travel these days and I'm trying to give you guys advice on what I've been learning through the freaking process. So what could be kind of your process that you guys might go through? I don't know, take it however it applies. But when you are maybe traveling solo or diving off and jumping into the unknown, just starting something new and you don't know how it's going to turn out, you will see that the more you trust the universe, the universe will pull you out of situations that seem like insane for you to get through that you're like, how am I going to solve this? The universe freaking brings in magic that is you can't explain it solutions or just really strong impulses and that's one thing that I've learned through my journey of traveling and kind of working through to, through some trauma star card on the bottom it will heal you whatever this new beginning I feel like the courage is actually going to heal you because you Aries and I'm gonna pull more details right but it could be something where you're imagining up some crazy thing that's gonna happen and look at there's the magician card so this you're thinking something crazy is going to happen when you get into this or it could even be small things where you're like what if people don't like me or there's something new that you're wanting to start but you're really hesitant to jump into it and it's like you're gonna have to pull into the the trusting the universe because i feel like there's this part of you that really wants to do it okay but here you are this is a part of the divine wisdom is realizing that you have the magic you know you don't have to freaking worry the only reason why you gaslight yourself and you question yourself is just because of how your parents raised you they taught you to question your own self like for example i travel now and when i was a little kid i used to do that like i used to wander outside of the house when i was like two or three i was always a wanderer and my parents got so freaked out by that, so full of fear that they made me question 
me going out and doing that and trusting my instincts, even as a baby, as a child. And so that's the chemical programming that spirals into events in your adult life that make you question yourself. And it's like the divine wisdom is realizing your magic, the quantum physics, you know, that that, that is quantum physics. It's magic being in multiple places at the same time, being at that ability to be a wave or a particle like you're you have that in you we just have things in our reality that constrict us but once you pull into it in your mind your mind is so incredible freaking yeah okay sorry now that i've rambled so let me see what other details we can get about this if this is like another person but honestly i'm not this is an interesting read i'm really not getting so much that it's like about a person you guys could be dealing with a magician, like maybe a Gemini or a Virgo, someone that is making you question yourself through some manipulation, okay? Oh, yeah, because look at that. Freaking Aries. Look, okay, I am not even lying. Look at this. Dude, I love this stuff. Nine of Swords, you're having to make choices, which is interesting. Virgo got this card as one of their straight up lineups. I swear there's another card here. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I, it keeps feeling like it's tripping me out. Okay, so Aries, this is why you're having some fear and anxiety because there's all these choices that are being placed in front of you and you're feeling some fear and anxiety about picking the right one. I think that you're like, oh, well, what if this isn't right? Like, what if this isn't meant for me? Sometimes you just have to dive in and see how it plays out. Take it from personal experience, okay? But that's why you're feeling afraid because I feel like maybe there's some choices that you made in the past and you felt like it turned out wrong and it really didn't. It was just giving you more divine wisdom to go off of and it was helping to alchemize you so that you don't get so controlled by your fears because that's your blockage. Look at this. See, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. This is, it, Aries, I'm telling you guys, I think that you, and don't do this during Mercury retrograde, okay? Because that's about to start really soon. So, you know, take this all with a grain of salt. But I feel like you might also be being pushed to jump into something and you've been kind of dragging your feet to do it, like to start something, start a project even, like, but you've been kind of resisting it. And because you keep telling yourself things about it that you like aren't true and so they're not true and then it pulls you down into this low vibration because you're being inauthentic to your path like you are supposed to do this thing and you're not doing it so it's causing you to pull into fear and anxiety because it's disconnecting you from your own path and that disconnection it pulls you down in vibration and then that's what puts you as an energetic match to dude even a narcissist so that's why some of you might actually be dealing with a physical manifestation of a narcissist right in front of you because it's showing you a reflection of how you're being inauthentic to what you're truly meant to be doing and since you don't believe that you can conjure it up within yourself you're looking to another human that has that strength to pull it out of them instead of pulling it within yourself <sighs> I love you guys. It's it's the path that we, the majority of us have to go through as codependents and breaking patterns from our parents. So my heart goes out to you, but you've got to pull from it within. And I'll tell you guys, you will save yourself so much trouble and heartbreak. You can't do anything wrong, okay? I'll tell you guys, I have made a lot of really stupid stupid decisions that my parents would be like wow this girl is insane how did we birth her but uh through each situation even though they might have been insane like jumping out to hawaii and almost feeling like i was gonna die out there i learned through it i grew and now i don't have as much fear and like i have pulled out of that in a very powerful way and it i don't see it as a mistake i don't see it as a wrong choice I use it now to help in my decision making. That's my divine wisdom because now I'm applying everything that I've learned. 
that's wisdom to me. Wisdom is the application of all of your knowledge. Okay. Now, look at this. Oh, yeah. Aries, look at you. Okay. Six of Swords. I feel like you guys are going to make a decision. Look at that. Perfect lineup. Here you are making the choice. It's bringing a lot of fear and anxiety out in you. But Ten of Pentacles, you're, I feel like you're like, okay, I'm going to make the choice and I'm going to switch this around actually. Because here you are deciding. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go with this one and we're just going to see what happens. We're going to see what plays out. And then when you do that, you're going to feel like, okay, stable. Like you made a choice, you took control over yourself and your own life, which is going to help you to feel empowered. It's going to boost your energy. So as you do that, you might even see that when you step into this thing, that it's going to be totally fine. <laughs> like everything is going to be stable. And then you're going to be looking back and thinking like, why was I freaking out? Like nothing turned out the way that you had expected. It was all in your head. So I don't know what this is. I'm going to pull into the extended, see if there's more details that come out about it. So if you guys want to join me over there, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you on the other side. But Aries, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.